Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I know I'm gonna make the best day I can. Why don't we do that together? My girl Ivy, as always, going back into shed. It seems like she eats, she sheds, she eats, she sheds. And again, snakes shed because they're growing. She is growing. She is unbelievably growing. She went from six foot, 35 pounds, to now over 10 foot and over 70 pounds in just nine or nine and a half months. I tell you, anacondas are truly amazing. Gonna be a banger of a day. We got eggs to collect. We've got, I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Down in the dungeon, guess what time it is? Egg time, egg time. Egg time. And this first one is just a big old het for albino ball python that's bred to an albino ball python. This girl is actually 46 days after lay. Remember, they usually do 30 days. So people panic when they're in the upper 30s, lower 40s. This girl went almost 16 days longer than she should, and she has a beautiful clutch of eggs. That just goes to show you, you can't panic. Things always seem to work out, and they always do it. So we're just gonna remove these eggs. And I've had this head albino female for literally like 15 years. She's been around a long, long time, and she always produces a pretty good clutch of ball pythons. You know, every now and then she'll take a year off, but for the most part, she's been a really solid producer. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine, Beautiful eggs. Again, on average, half of these are gonna be albino. The other half will be het for albino. We have one more clutch to pull. This next clutch is actually just a pinstripe female, and it looks like she's wrapped around a really nice clutch of eggs right there. Oh, it looks like there's a little infertile in here, but I wanna show you the male that it was actually bred to, which was this little monkey here, which is actually a banana fire spinner blast. So there's a lot of genes going on here. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how many eggs she has. And again, I could see that there was one little slugger on the end there, a couple, oh, there's, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. That is a ton of eggs, but there's also some bad eggs in there. This may be the most slugs that we've had in any clutch, but you know, sometimes you get into that kind of stretch where you have some infertiles, but then tomorrow they're all fertile. So I'm not gonna read too much into it, but wow, that would have been a huge clutch of eggs if they were all fertile. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the good eggs first, and then we'll see how many bad eggs there are. Oh my goodness, that was a monster clutch of eggs. Holy, mo this may be the most eggs that we've had all year, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, they're not all fertile. Let's go ahead and see what we have. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Are you kidding me? 16 eggs? Granted, there's only six good ones, but there was 10 slugs, 16. Our biggest clutch was 12 eggs, and she had 16 eggs. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna really make sure to mark this girl, really pay a lot of attention to her next year, and hopefully she will lay a banger clutch of 16 good eggs next year. That is the largest clutch of ball pythons I've ever, ever seen. That's crazy, that's the most in my career. That was insane. And mama, you did good. got some crested <laughs> gecko babies today. They're pretty crazy. No. <laughs> Chaos. I'm just gonna leave them in here because they keep jumping all over the place. But um, <laughs> it's really interesting. Uh, one is more kind of like a brownish colored and one it has more red. So it's cool to see like the difference between the siblings. I know this pair in specific, Honey and Riff Raff, have thrown some really cool Halloweens and stuff in the past, which I think that reddish one is gonna turn more into that. Halloween is like what you think of, black and orange. So it fires up on the, the background color is really dark, almost black. It's pretty rare to get a like really black black, but it gets really dark brown. And then uh, the crests and everything is orange. Guess what guys, I got something exciting to tell you. Today, Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday, the new merch is on sale for 10% off. Link in the description, enter the code FOURTH, all capitals, and you'll get 10% off your merch only till Monday. Got a couple of clutches of baby colubrids that hatched out, so I, again, like I mentioned, things are definitely getting going. Now, interestingly enough, you may look at these and say, well, Brian, uh, why do these have so many patterns when they're supposed to be Mexican black king snakes? Now, most of them hatch out solid, glossy, jet black, but sometimes they'll hatch out with a little bit of pattern like this. Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, within a couple sheds, all of that pattern turns jet black. Now, I'm not sure why that is, just certain clutches will hatch out that way. This is actually 
a lot of pattern i'm not gonna lie to you usually you don't have this much pattern to them but it is pretty interesting but i would imagine here in the next probably month month and a half these guys will be jet black glossy black every now and then you'll see just a little bit of speckling on animals that hatch out like this but nevertheless super cool love the fact that we have some nigritus or mexican black kings hatching out i was super excited about this one and they just started hatching out there's literally just one little baby out of the egg right now right here and of course this is our first scaleless Texas rat snake clutch and who doggy this is a pretty little monkey this was a really nice pair of snakes that actually bred really beautiful so I'm expecting some killer babies for sure but unfortunately there's just one little baby hatch out we see one little egg right here that's got a head popped out and all the rest of the eggs haven't even pipped yet so this is the first baby scaleless Texas rat but there's about 20 eggs in this clutch so in the next day or two we're gonna have 20 little babies that look just as beautiful as this little monkey what is going on guys? So um, today is another wonderful, wonderful day in our journey of working with the, the beautiful croc monitor. So we already done our couple feedings during the weekends while you guys have been coming out coming out and saying hi to us and everything during our, uh, our reptarium hours. So uh, this is something we want to do a little bit more on a regular basis as long as we can maintain a safe environment. Our, my wonderful cameraman my, uh, behind the camera over here, thanks bro. Uh, he had pointed out a really, really cool, cool thought. You notice something? You're, you notice he's... What looks like a red ball. Yeah. <laughs> this is something I don't want him feeding. <laughs> So obviously it was awesome what Bruce had going on. It's exactly how we want this training to go. We want to make sure that baby Kush understands, hey, I'm getting food. You can just be cool and chill in my cage and then ultimately go away, right? Doesn't ever think that we are food. And then we'll start to build that bond. And this is the experience that we want to add again. I keep saying I want to add experiences to the Reptarium hours now that we have limited numbers. Uh, this is one of the experiences. Let me know in the comments if you guys would dig coming and seeing this interaction and kind of bringing you along on the entire training process. I'm telling you what, in six months, we're going to have this animal out holding it. Everyone can be playing with it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. You guys know I want to all always take you continuously on the journey of my mental health and stuff like that and I want to kind of just continue to inspire you guys like I've been mentioning the last few days have been a lot better I'm not gonna lie to you I mean it was a really 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 tough two and a half months and I'm not gonna say it's over I'm just gonna tell you that I've been feeling a little bit better and that's kind of the journey right is that you know you start to feel a little bit better it's a kind of up and down ebb and flow the good times are here and there and then the good times become more and then the bad times get less and less and eventually you realize like oh my gosh the bad times haven't happened for the last few days so uh, it's been a good couple days you know but I want to encourage you guys if you're dealing with any kind of mental health depression anxiety you know you have to be active and you have to do things hey Brigida my baby girl of course these guys distract me all the time I absolutely love what are you doing silly monkey she is such a cute snake but you know the animals distract me and I don't just sit back and do anything I go to therapy I do all kinds of I do meditation I do all kinds of things and that's the way you get better you can't feel like you have anxiety or depression and just hope it goes away you've got to really charge it the best you can and uh, it does, it's not easy listen there are days I don't want to get out of bed but I still come to work and I still work all day and that's part of getting better and I wanted to encourage you guys to keep moving forward and you will be okay we will be okay 
it's been a good few days and I hope that the next few days will be even better and I hope that here in several weeks we'll be saying that we got completely past this but again every now and then I just want to encourage you you know go out there believe in yourself keep working towards your goals and you can get better too we are going to get better and uh, we're going to inspire people to continue to get better right and uh, again surround yourself with things that you love like uh, animals and stuff like that it's really amazing but I want just to continue to tell you that hey we're working on it we're working hard on it we're getting better and we're going to be a hundred percent before we know it just brought over that one normal ball python that was bred to a banana fire spider and most of them are hatched out so i just brought them over so we'll set them up today and you know a couple of them were just normal bananas i'll be honest with you sometimes when you mix pastel and fire and stuff like that bananas lose a little bit of their kind of pop right so we've got two normal banana ball pythons right here that both look absolutely incredible and as far as a single gene animal bananas may be the best maybe behind pies or I, i'm not sure i mean i love them all right but regardless this is actually the banana fire spider here you can just see it's kind of faded looks absolutely beautiful has that spider pattern to it and if you notice it doesn't have a wobble right i always say this you know the wobble is definitely you know it's overblown i'm not going to lie to you and i'm not trying to pick fights with anyone i'm just telling you that if you hatch a hundred spiders at least my stock maybe one has a slight wobble and 99 are perfect. So regardless, I don't want to get into the debate there. I'm just saying that this banana fire spider is absolutely incredible. And then we just have a little fire spider here. So this is a two gene animal, fire incomplete dominant, and then the spider. And again, you can see the wobble isn't there. With the wobble, you'll see it'll like come out and it'll start to flip around and stuff like that. That's not the case with these guys. Another little spider in the egg here, and then just another normal ball python. Might be a fire in the egg there. They should be hatched out later on today, but regardless, baby snakes had to bring them over had to share them with you guys so i'm going to go ahead and set these guys up and uh they should shed in about a week or so get feeding and uh they'll be ready to go got a couple things to open up here from the po box you guys are always spoiling me uh, these notes uh tell me who it's from let's see enjoy your gift because laura keeps getting scared of you cutting your hair uh, oh <laughs> Perfect. jesus Somebody yeah. listen. You're not supposed to use a knife to cut it. No. No. There's a, it. yeah. Exactly. How does it open? Exactly. Just like that. It slides. Oh my god. Don't cut it. what's in there. You so what is this? This is like oh this. They're cut resistant. <laughs> Oh my God, these are awesome. I wonder if we could- Remember the last time that you cut yourself? <laughs> I wonder if this would protect us from uh, alligator bites. <gasps> Let's go try. Put your, your really? hand in. Can I try to see if it works from cutting? <laughs> I mean, how confident are you in this? Just take that finger. Ow! No, just Liar. No, it actually, well, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, I think we can. I appreciate. Put, I think it. we could put no, these to the test. No, keep it on. Keep it on. If okay. you're gonna open another. I think that's day. a good idea though. Let's put them to the test one day. We should put them to the test one day. All right, this one comes from. Well, uh, wait a second. You having the knife in the hand with that makes no sense. Yeah, if it if the knife slips, like oh. But anyways, <laughs> this is from Tebow. I think this is from Tim Tebow. Really? It says Tebow, but I don't All know right. if it's from Tim Tebow. But what is this? What in the world? What the heck? Oh my god. No, okay. <laughs> well, there's a note. There's a so, note. So let's see. Ooh, a puzzle. puzzle. Oh, we're totally I into did, puzzles. I did just finish my oh, last yeah. puzzle. And this no is a one cool will be one. happy. This one's a dope one. Brian, not sure how I started watching your vlog, but now I watch every day. Grew to love the snakes laying eggs. Egg cutting and snake combinations. Love the reptarium, everything you added. I got you the shirt because you are such a source of optimism and motivation. That's a cool the shirt. Puzzle... I actually like that shirt too. Oh yeah. The that puzzle is, cool. is for Lori. It glows in the dark. Can't wait oh, for the day the when I can the visit. Dark. Jen Tebow. Oh my gosh. Well, thank so, you so much, Jen. You. Like I said, perfect. I just and, finished my last and one. She so. also sent the gift that I love so much. Yes. Thank you. So, Bounty is the good <laughs> stuff too. This is the quicker picker upper. So uh, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And uh, I'm safe to do anything now with the slow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I have never had a clutch of 16 eggs from a ball fight. Not even close. I think my record before was 13. Unbelievable. Hopefully next year we can breed her and have 16 fertile eggs. That is pretty amazing. If you enjoyed this video, here's a playlist of snake eggs. You can roll through and just see all the snake eggs that we get for years. I tell you what, it's insane. Could you please do me a favor? Up here you can support my podcast channel called Checking In. Subscribe right over here. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.